Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to display object variable value and list of objects in Salesforce Einstein bot. There are so many requirements where we may have to display an object's uh, value, field value, or we have to iterate the list of uh, uh, objects record and then we we have to give a selection option to the users to, to select it from the Einstein bot. So we are going to see how to do that in uh, uh, Einstein bot. So this is my simple uh, bot where I have a welcome dialog. In the welcome dialog, I'm just displaying a message. Hi, I am a chat bot, a digital assistant. And then as a next step, I'm calling the main menu. So in the main menu, First, I'm asking a question, what is your account number? Once the user uh, responds, it is stored in a variable called str account number. Next, I'm confirming with the user that the account number entered is str account number, whatever the number they have entered. Next, I'm calling a flow. So let's see the flow. So this is my flow. I have get records to fetch account. So from the bot, I will pass the account number to this variable called str account number. And then I'm fetching the account number, account record using the account number. I'm getting only the first record. I'm storing ID and name of the account using uh, account number. Uh, which from which the account record was uh, filtered and then I'm storing it in OBJ account variable. So this is my OBJ account variable, which is single record variable. Okay, next I'm fetching contact, sorry, cases record. I'm making sure that account is the account which was filtered from the previous uh, get records element. And then I'm also making sure the is closed flag is false. I'm just fetching all the open case records. I'm fetching all the records, whichever matches the condition here. And then I'm storing it in a variable called list open cases. This is my record collection variable list open cases. I'm getting case number, status and subject fields. So this is a simple flow which will be called from the Einstein bot. This will ret return OBJ account which is a single um, record variable and this will uh, return list of cases, list to open cases. This is a record collection variable. Okay, so here I'm calling that flow called fetch account and cases for bot. I'm setting that str account number with the account number whatever I fetched from here. Output list open cases. I have a variable in my bot called case records which is objects list and I have obj account which is the output from the flow will be stored in account record variable in Einstein bot. Okay. Next, I'm displaying what is the account name. So account record dot name. So this will come from here. So if the flow um, gets uh, an account called test, the account name is test will be displayed. And if the test account had two or three cases, I am displaying it using question component. So in the question component, I'm asking a question called select the case to check the status and I'm using dynamic choices. I'm displaying the case number for each and every cases which are fetched. F uh, action type is from list variable. The list variable is case records. So this case records, I'm getting it from here. whatever the flow returned will be stored in case records. That's what I'm displaying it here. So 
if it returned four cases all the case numbers will be displayed for the user selection if the user select any record it will be dis it will be stored in case record variable after that i am uh, displaying a message called case with the case number if the case number is 1 2 3 case 1 2 3 with the subject whatever the subject is in the current status of the case record okay so one important uh, oh, sorry important thing is In the sfdc.chatbot.service.permission set, make sure for account and for cases you have set read access and also whatever fields like case number, subject, case status and for account uh, we are getting the name. So for all those fields make sure the field level security is set up for this particular permission set if we don't set up this permission set properly um, the bot will display the variable name instead of the value so make sure the bot's permission set sfdc.chatbot.service.perm set is properly as given the uh, required permissions so here i am giving read access and the required field level security for account and cases objects Okay, so let's test it out. So I have an uh, account with the account number one two three, and for this account I have two cases, one zero four six and one zero four seven. So let's let's test it. So first it will start from main menu. Hi, I am a chatbot digital assistant. Next, it is redirected to the main menu. In the main menu, I have what is your account number. So it will be stored in str account number. So I'm going to enter one, two, three, four, five. Next, it will end, uh, say account number entered is str account number. Yeah, number is one, two, three. And account name is infallible techie. So it, it called the flow. From the flow, it fetched the account using the account number and it fetched all the open cases based on the account which was selected from this get records element. And here I am displaying the case numbers. So I can select any of the case. So case 0001047 with subject testing to is in escalated status. So I have displayed an object's variable uh, value and I iterated the list of uh, 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 objects and then I displayed uh, uh, the case numbers and then I was able to select a particular case record and then I was able to display that particular case records selection uh, case number subject and what is the status. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching.